Good afternoon. My name is Amber Frost. and I'm going to be your case manager while you're here at the Western Psychological and Counseling Services. Um, do you like to go by the name Tammy or do you have a nickname? I have a nickname. It's Bones. Well, hi, Bones. It's very nice to meet you. Have you ever had a case manager before? I have not. Okay, so let me explain my role as your case manager. Um, my role is to help you reach some of your goals and address any of those barriers to reaching your goals. Um, so we have some paperwork to go over for this initial appointment. Um, one that is really important is the informed consent. Um, this is to let you know your rights and responsibilities. Um, so basically, um, one of the main points that I wanna talk to you about is to let you know that you have the right to join in these services free will. That means at any time that you don't wanna do, you don't wanna have any more services, you are free to terminate. Okay. And also, I want to let you know that um, what you say with me, um, never mind, I have to start again, I can't think of it. So I'd like first to talk about confidentiality. So what you say to me is confidential unless you give me written permission to share that with anybody. Um, the only time that confidentially doesn't apply is if you say something that you're going to hurt yourself or hurt anybody else. Do you understand? I do. Okay, great, great. Um, so, um, so this paper, so I'm gonna have you sign this and this is going to say, you're gonna initial over here on the right saying that you understand these. Um, also, I'd like to go over the uh, financial piece. Um, so if you cancel within 24 hours or don't show up for an appointment, you will char be charged $55. Um, and it, are you your own financial guarantor? I mean, are you responsible for your own bills? I am. You are, okay. So that with meaning that, that means that um, you're responsible for any co-pays, deductibles, or any fees. Um, also, um, I'd like to, uh, would you like any more information about a medical advance directive? No, I'm familiar with that. Okay, okay. Um, and so, with that being said, um, if I could just have you assign uh, initial over here to the right, please. Right. Thank you. All right, and then at the bottom, you're gonna print your name and you're going to put your date of birth and sign and date. Okay. And at any time, if you ever want a copy of your records, you also have the right to that as well. Do I have to pay for it? No, it's free. It's free of charge okay. and it's at your disposal. Um, so the next piece of um, paper that I'd like for us to do is just um, some basic, basic contact information. Okay. Okay, and so your full name? Tammy oh. Nellie Goodwin. Okay. Okay, and so your address, is it the same address that we have on file? It is. Okay. So the 38 River Street? Yes. Franklin? Okay. Okay. And um, so your insurance? I have New Hampshire Medicaid. Okay. All right. That's great. All righty. And so some contact phone, number, phone numbers. Oh, well, my best contact is my daughter. Okay. So first, I think we're going to start with your contact information. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have a home phone, cell phone? I have no home phone. I have a cell phone. Okay, and the number? 603-290-9090. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, and would it be okay to leave phone messages? It is. Okay, and is that your primary contact number? It is. Okay, great. And your marital status? Are you single, divorced, um, living as married, married, separated, or widowed? Divorced. Divorced, okay. Okay, and are you employed? No. Okay. And so the emergency contact, I take it's going to be your daughter? It is. Okay, and what's her name? Willow. Okay. And her last name? Goodwin. Goodwin. Okay, great, great. And her address? Is 30 Smith Street, Rochester, New Hampshire, and I'm not sure of the zip code. Okay, that, that's that's fine. That's fine. And does she happen to have a phone number? No, she doesn't happen to have 
a phone number right at the moment. Okay, well maybe we can uh, we'll, we can find another way to get in contact with her in case of emergency or possibly by the time the next time we meet we might be able to add another contact. Um, okay, and so how about a, a primary care physician? I do have a primary care physician. Okay. Dr. Catherine Rice. Okay. And um, what um, is the physician's address? 250 Pleasant Street. Okay. Concord, New Hampshire. All right. All right, that sounds great. And um, who gave you the referral to our services? My doctor. Okay, all right. All right, that's great. Thank you very much for that information. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, and so a um, a, another form that we're going to do is the adult intake form. Um, and so at any point in time, if there's any questions that you don't want to answer, you feel uncomfortable, feel free to let me know and we'll just move on. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay, so... What was the reason that your doctor referred you to us? Because she thought I needed additional support. Okay. Um, and um, additional support with? Life. With life. Um, were you uh, experiencing any of these symptoms? Or would any of these things be considered problematic for you? Um, you're easily distracted. Hyperactivity, impulsivity, boredom, poor memory or confusion, seasonal mood changes. I think all of the above is probably pretty accurate. Okay, um, how about sadness or depression? Oh yes, those two. Okay. Okay, um, have you experienced any loss of pleasure, of interest, or feel hopelessness? No. No. How about thoughts of death? No. Self-harm behaviors? No. Crying spells? No. Loneliness? Yes. Okay. Low self-worth? No. Guilt and shame? Yes. How about fatigue? Yes. Um, change in appetite? No. Lack of motivation? No. Withdrawal from people? No. Anxiety or worry? Yes. Panic attacks? No. Fear away from home? No. Social discomfort? No. Obsessive thoughts? Uh, yes. Compulsive behaviors? Mm, yes. Okay. Aggression? No. Frequent arguments? No. Irritability or yes. anger? Irritability. Yes. Comes okay. along with the age. Homicidal thoughts? No. Flashbacks? No. Hearing voices? No. Visual hallucinations? No. Suspicion or paranoia? No. Racing thoughts? No. Excessive energy? No. Mood swings? No. Sleep disorders? No. Nightmares? No. Eating problems? Yes. Gambling problems? No. Computer addiction? No. Problems with pornography? No. Parenting problems? No. Sexual problems? No. Relationship problems? No. Work and school problems? No. Alcohol or drug use? No. Reoccurring or disturbing memories? No. Okay. Um, so are, are any of these problems affecting any of the following? Um, so like handling everyday tasks? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, recreational activities? Yeah. It is. Okay. Um, Self-esteem? No. Housing? What was that? Housing. Do you have any housing um, issues? I have an apartment that I can afford, but I don't like the neighborhood. Okay. Okay. So we'll just mark that off for now, and then we can we can address that um, in our following appointments. Sexual activity? No. Relationships? No. Do you have any legal matters going on? No. Um, any um, concerning health issues? Yes. Yes. Um, how about hygiene issues? Do you have any problems? No. No. How about finances? Yes. Yes. Okay. I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay. Um, so, have you ever had thoughts, made statements, or attempted to hurt yourself? 
No. Okay. Have you ever had thoughts or made statements or attempted to hurt someone else? No. Okay. And have you recently had any, have you been physically hurt or threatened by somebody else? No. Okay. So is it safe to say you feel safe in your home? I do. Okay. Okay. Um, have you gambled in the past six months? No. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much for that information. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay. And so, um, our final form that we're going to go ahead and fill out, if you don't mind, um, is I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you can answer them by never you have felt this way, hardly ever, sometimes, often, or very often. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you forget, just ask and I can, I can let you know the, the options that we have. Um, how often did you feel unhappy or sad? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Um, how about have little or no energy? Uh, just at night time. So would you consider that um, never, hardly ever, sometimes, often, or very often? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Um, have had a hard time getting along with family, friends, and coworkers? Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, feel hopeless about the future? Sometimes. Sometimes. And have had a hard time paying attention? Never. Never. Okay. Um, feel unproductive um, with your daily activities? Rarely. Rarely. Okay. Um, how about feeling tense or nervous? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Having problems with sleep, either too much or too little? Sometimes. Sometimes. Feeling lonely? Sometimes. Okay. Think about harming yourself? Never. Okay. Um, has anyone ever mentioned to you any concerns about alcohol or drug use? No. No. Okay. And, um, have you had more than five drinks of alcohol at one time recently? No. No. Okay. Um, have you had a problem at work or at school at home? I know you said you're not working right now, but maybe at home or any social settings, um, because of drug or alcohol use? No. Okay. Great. <clears throat> and so the next set of questions is, please answer according to the relevance. Um, so whether it's true, almost true, unsure, almost false, or false. I felt that we talked about things that were important to me. True. True. Okay. Um, I felt that the therapist, that, that me as your case manager liked and understood me. True. True. Um, I felt that the session was helpful. True. Okay. I felt confidence that the therapist and I worked well together. True. True. Okay, that sounds great. And so I'm just going to have you um, the date, um, sign and date over here if you don't mind. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Bones. Um, so it's been my pleasure, and I appreciate you taking the time to go over this, go over these um, pieces of uh, papers with me. I know that it can be a little bit time-consuming. But on our next session, we can go ahead and we can start to dig into some of the things that um, are causing causing for you to have some um, barriers and kind of talk about what some of your goals are. Thank that you very good. much. All okay. right. Thank All right. You, you have a great day. All right. Thank you. Bye now. Bye.